Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at what Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Guidance for Aries, please Spirit. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. And Spirit does want to bring through a direct message for you, so take notice of any signs or symbols or messages that really resonate for you throughout the reading. Let's take a look at your first card. We have the Lizard. Dreaming, sight, knowledge, and hidden gifts. These are the key words of this card. Aries, what I'm seeing is you're going to be daydreaming a lot. There's going to be a dream that you have in your mind's eye that you're wanting to bring into manifestation. And it will feel like a daydream, but in fact, you're going to be in the process of manifesting this. Or you're going to be picking up that it's on the way for you. So this is a very interesting energy because it means that you have some foresight. There is some intuitive foresight that is happening right now. And in, you're going to feel that this comes through in a daydream. You might find yourself daydreaming quite a lot this week. And this is because you're picking up on this manifestation coming into play, entering your life. You may have an intention toward a particular manifestation or thing that you're wanting to bring into your life Aries and if that's the case by you daydreaming focusing on it by you having and maintaining an intention toward it you're going to bring this through into your life you have it within your sight now these are interesting as well we have knowledge you're going to be perhaps researching reading or gaining knowledge in some deeper way this week and your gifts, your hidden inner gifts are going to come out to play. For some, this is going to mean a creative project and for others, it's in a different way. But your gifts that have been subdued or hidden are going to come out. You're going to realize what they are, what they're all about, and you're going to want to pursue them further. So very positive vibrational energy coming into play here. Now we have numerologically number 18, which is nine and nine is the hermit in the tarot. So you might feel like you're wanting to be more alone, following your own path rather than following what other people would like to say to you. There is an energy here of you being able to find your inner light and be guided by that inner light. It may mean that you're going away in, on a retreat or internally there's some introspection happening. And the nine also means that there is a tendency to be looking at things in your life that you're wanting to finalize, finish up and end. So you could in fact be in the process of finalizing something and it's, you're getting ready to finish this off this week and then move forward from that point forward. So that's going to be, I feel a very positive thing for you to let this person, this place, this situation that you're finalizing, things are wrapping up. There's an ending about to take place. This is a positive thing for you. Even if at the moment it might not feel like that is the case. That's the underlying energy here. Let's take a look at this card for Aries. This one, actually, I'm feeling both. Let's take both of these. There is nothing to worry about, Aries. You are safe and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into this situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortless, effortlessly to and through you. So if you find yourself worrying about someone or something this week, or perhaps it's been around in your mind for some time, there's no need to worry about this. You have angelic energy around you. We also have the beautiful dove of peace. So peace of mind is coming. There is nothing to worry about. And you'll know if that resonates because you've been pondering it. You've been wondering about this. You have anxiety about it even. So that's a message, very strong, positive message I'm feeling for some. There's an opportunity to forgive someone, perhaps forgive forgiveness of self as well can come into play with this message. 
It says this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgive, unforgiving thoughts, feelings and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So forgiveness is key. It is going to help heal a situation or heal your own heart, heal your own mind. So two beautiful energies that are showing up for you this week. Two beautiful messages. Let's take a look at this deck of cards here for you, Aries. Guidance for Aries. Guidance and a message for Aries, please. Guidance and a message for Aries, please. This one here. And this one as well. I'm feeling this one wants to come out. And is a message to be revealed for you as well, Aries. So let's take a look here. We have crystal protection, crystal energy. Archangel Michael is leading you to a protective crystal to wear or work with. So you might feel guided to choose a particular crystal to wear or purchase or work with. And there is a, a protective energy with, to do with this crystal. So you're going to feel it's going to be different for everyone. It might be a different crystal for everyone, of course, not just one particular crystal here. This is something that resonates with your vibration and no one else's at this time. So it's specific to you. So you'll be working with this crystal or you will be wearing this crystal for protection. Physical body protection. Gold mess, mesh shields up. Archangel Michael suggests the gold mesh protection technique to bring security and harmony to your energy field. So this is about protection once again. And Archangel Michael is able to be called in and to be available to protect and to help heal. So gold mesh protection. So this is you envisioning a gold mesh around you, your loved ones. And so that may be something that resonates for you and you would like to envision, visualize and meditate on this week. So we have a card that's just flipped out for you here. Let's take a look at what it says. We have the card of energy. Life force is flowing. That's a really good sign, Aries. It means you're in the flow this week. Is it any blocked energies will have the ability to be unblocked? Open yourself to receive the power from within. So going back to that, one of the first messages here with the hermit energy going within, finding your own inner light and moving toward your own dreams and your own personal destiny. And finding this power within is very important this week to help you overcome any obstacles or challenges that may come up this week for you. Energy, this means that you'll be inclined to work with energy perhaps in a spiritual sense or perhaps it is more of a physical thing where you're wanting to exert energy, you're wanting to get into exercise for example. There's also a message here, I'm feeling that there is going to be a, um, a very powerful surprise message that really really shocks you it surprises you a message from someone that's going to be full of energy and that's why it's going to come as a surprise this energy it feels like it's going to knock you off your feet it's that powerful so some powerful information or a message or energy being directed your way is what i'm seeing here with this card and perhaps that's why spirit is saying have your gold mesh up, have your crystal protection around you, call in the divine light and protect because some intense energies will be coming your way. So, so for some, this will be a more of a negative energy being directed at you, an evil eye type of energy, someone who wants to bring you down energetically. And for others, this will be a positive thing. So it's going to be very individ individualistic. Uh, you're going to have to see how this plays out in your life. And if you fill out intuitively what this energy represents for you, you're going to have a great understanding of where this fits into your life. So filling out your own intuition is the key here. 
This could be a positive thing. I do sense it for some. An energy, a positive energy, a boost of energy, something very positive and surprising will occur this week that will knock you off your feet in a positive way. So different for everyone. Hold an intention because that's very powerful. Hold an intention for you to understand and realize completely, truly and honestly with yourself where this energy is coming from if you do not know already. So let's take a look at this deck of cards for Aries, please, Spirit. We have the Four of Crystals. And the keywords here, control and security. Someone may be wanting to control you. And you will know Spirit is speaking to you here. It's not someone new. It's someone who's been around you for some time. There's an element of control but there's security that you're building for yourself, maybe in your finances, or maybe in a relationship, maybe in another area of life. You'll know what spirit is talking about here. Something that's been shaky, something that, something that has not been secure in your life is going to start to settle and there will be security there. And that is on the way. We have the chariot, beautiful energy of determination and forward momentum through obstacles and things that are in front of you, you you're blasting them away with your forward and momentum. I feel that as part of this energy of this message of flow and energy in your life, which helps bust through any challenges that you have with discipline and determination, you're going to achieve a lot this week. The magician energy, willpower and creation here is the energy of the manifesto. So you really do have that ability to manifest this week, hold a true and clear intention of what you want to manifest and it will come through. I feel that this is tied into the energy of dreaming in a knowledge. It all ties in here, Aries. The five of acorns, challenge and growth. The fives are a temporary problem, something that's going to come up this week, a challenge of some kind, maybe to do with communication here, but the, there is going to be a lot of growth that can be found in the situation. And the traveler, a beautiful energy of the fool, letting go of past baggage that no longer serves you, and moving forward in a positive way for you. The traveler may mean that you are getting ready to travel or you're looking at, at um, moving to a new location. It might be to do with work or your family. Different for everyone, but the, the momentum is here. There may be a new adventure that you're going to start looking at this week. And there is great potential because you are at the zero point right now and there's great potential in what you are doing this week. Something that you hold a strong, positive intention toward, you will have great potential there to grow and develop and it will turn into something very wonderful. It definitely has the energy and power behind it needed for it to get off the ground and to start to flourish. So you have some beautiful messages this week coming through Aries. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. If you enjoyed the reading, you can click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is such a huge help. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Have a wonderful week, Aries, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.